my name is Rodrigo, and in this video I will do a short comparison of two battery chargers I have. I have this Tronic one I bought in Lidl a few months ago. It's supposed to be a fast charger. It's The model is Tronic TLG1000C5. And I also have this charger. This is my older charger. It's a travel one from Duracell. And the model for this one is uh, CEF23. So I'll do a comparison, see which one is faster charging. I have here two AA batteries and two AAA batteries. They're both pretty much empty. I've been using them last five, couple, last five couple of days, not five days, to see if they would really die. This one is the power is 950 milliamp hour and the bigger ones are 2400 milliamp hour as you can see 2400 and they're both from the same brand Tronic the smaller ones 950 so yeah so now we will measure the volts on these batteries I should say that this video is not scientific it's not scientific at all it's just what I have with me on the moment so we have here this multimeter, and we'll see how much charge these batteries have. Okay, this one has 1.128. It's pretty much empty. Normally it's like 1.4, 1.5, I think. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. And the other battery is 1.111. So pretty much equal, more or less equal. And now with the AAA batteries, their charge is at 1.067 for one. And this one is 1.034. So again, they're pretty much empty. If I were to use them, they wouldn't work. Nothing would work with these batteries. So yeah. So I will try charging one battery here, one AAA battery here, one AA battery here, and the same thing with this. And I'll see how long it'll it'll take to charge until until they're fully charged. So let's do this. Here. Okay, this one's turned on. This one's also turned on. Should do the time right now. It is approximately. I should write this down. Or maybe not. I have, I have the video, so it's approximately 11:13 a.m. Okay, so I'll put one battery here. Okay, it's charging. Hey, okay. hey, okay, this one's. A bit finicky. Hi, it's me again. Uh, I had to cut the previous video because I wasn't able to get this connected properly, but now it's okay. So I was saying we'll put one of each of these batteries in the chargers. So we put one here, and it is 11:15 a.m. Just to make sure. Put one here. And it's charging with the red light. Okay, this one's charging as well. There you go, charging as well. Put this one. So they are both charging, and it is 11:15 a.m. So now we'll stop the video, and when they're done, I'll, t I'll write down the times are they're uh, charged, and then you can see how much they're charged and compare the batteries the times okay thank you and I'll see you soon hi and we're back with the second part of the video the batteries have been charged and I have here my notes again just to remind you one double A battery here one triple A battery here and the same thing with this one and they both they all, all four batteries took different times to, to charge so the first one to finish 
the first one to give me the green light was this one, double A battery. It took one hour and 24 minutes to charge completely. So that's double A battery, one hour, 24 minutes. The next one was from this one, the smaller one, triple A battery. And this one took, one, uh, took exactly two hours to charge until full. Third one to finish was from here with the AAA battery. It took two hours and six minutes to charge. And the last one was the AA battery from the portable travel charger. It took two hours and 29 minutes. So yeah. So let's see how much they charged. It's been maybe two hours since I've charged them. I just let them rest for a minute. Check them out. Let's try first double A battery from the Tronic charger. So let's see here. This one is 1.396. 1.396. And from the travel charger, let's see. 1.407. So the travel charger charger charged it a little bit more. Let's try the AAA battery from the Tronic charger. Eight. So this one is 1.434. And from the travel charger, let's check this out. This one is 1.423. So a little bit less than the Tronic charger. So you can see there's a big difference between the Tronic charger and this travel charger. This one took more, uh, less time to charge the batteries. And the good thing about this is you can check out the, how long, the percentage of each battery. So you have more or less an idea if it's almost finished or not. While in the, the travel charger, you have no idea if it's almost finished or if it takes more time or, nothing, or something like that. Again, just to remind you, this is not at all scientific. It's just something that I thought about doing for a while. So I made a, a video about this. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for viewing. Have a nice day.